I'm Jeff St. Laurent with SellingCoaching.com, and today I'm gonna to teach you the two different types of business cycles we can have as an entrepreneur. One we wanna have, and one we wanna try and avoid. Our success as an entrepreneur relies on us understanding how we get paid, and also understanding the cycle of business in entrepreneurship. Being an entrepreneur is a completely different animal than having a nine to five job. And it's important we understand that in order to be successful, not just now, but long term. When it comes to business cycles, here's the typical business cycle. And this is not only just in this industry, it's in a lot of industries, is I have my marketing activities. Marketing activities, these are the things I talk about in order to get leads. And it's getting out and it's doing a seminar, it's doing a telephone class, it's speaking at workshops, it's, it's getting ourselves in front of people. Anything we can get out there, networking meetings, networking with people, online and in person, it's calling people up. It's, you know, it's getting ourselves and our name and our brand and our image out there and our message. And then what happens is, is we start getting leads. And the more we do that, the more leads we end up getting. Well, now all of a sudden we got all these leads coming in and now we're sorting through those leads and that's the part I talk about where we get clients. We sort through the leads and we find the serious from the curious. And from there we get clients and then we get paid. So what happens is, is we start off and in, in if you can look at this, this slope going up, this is all our marketing activities. And what happens is now we're at the top of this slope where we get paid, Typically what happens is, is now we have, let's say, a lot of coaching clients and we're on the phone and we're on the phone two, three, four, five hours a day, let's say. And the majority of our work now is actually taking coaching calls and, and doing coaching clients. This is good because we're doing what we love. However, the problem with this is, is that most of our time now is spent actually taking the coaching calls or actually doing the seminars. And as I say in one of my other videos, that's not a revenue producing activity. Because what happens is we start doing this and this is where the majority of our time is spent. Well now we're not doing those marketing activities to get leads as much, if at all, anymore. And what I found that myself was doing, a lot of people that I've worked with and, and just entrepreneurs in general is when we're doing the activities that we've gotten paid for, taking the clients, doing the calls, those types of things, we're not doing the marketing activities anymore, especially if we're a solopreneur, meaning we're the only employee, we're the only one doing it. And typically most of us, that's what we're doing. We're doing the marketing, we're doing all the leads, and we're taking all the calls. And so we're doing all these calls and, and it's great and it's fun, but we're not doing the marketing activities to keep getting those leads. So now what happens is, is you know, some clients and they stop working with us, et cetera. And now we go up here and then now we're all of a sudden we're down here again and we've got one or two clients left or it's like, oh my God, I, I don't have any clients or I don't have any leads right now. And we kind of freak out a little bit. And then we got to start that cycle all over again. And now I've got to get out there and I'm going to start marketing again. I got to start doing all this stuff. And this is that up and down cycle. It's that up and down cycle. So on the up phase is we're marketing, we're generating leads. At the top, it's we're actually, you know, we've gotten paid, we're feeling good, we're feeling confident. And we're taking all those calls. And then all of a sudden, next thing you know, we're boom, we're at the bottom of that cycle and we're freaking out and we're going to start that cycle over again. My message here is that we don't want this type of a business. That's typically what people end up doing is going up and down, up and down. And that's horrible because it's anxiety producing. It's anxiety producing because now all of a sudden you're, you're feeling great about yourself because you got all these leads and you've got you know, new payments coming in, new clients coming in. But then at the bottom, it's scary again because you don't know where your next, pay next paycheck's coming from. And so what happens now is you've got to start that process over. What we're looking to create is what I call the flatline effect. The flatline effect, your lows are high and your highs are low, meaning there's no big up and down swing. And that's a really good thing. It means that we have our time for marketing and no matter how many clients we have, we still have that time for marketing. Because when we still have that time for marketing, we have a consistent flow of leads and it's always good to have more leads than time. This way you're never caught up on one or two leads that are just kind of lingering out there. If someone's not interested or they say no, it's just next and I'm on to the next one. And when you have more leads coming in than time, that's great because you keep up with them and you keep moving forward. But when you keep up with those marketing activities, you've always got this kind of steady state, that flat line effect. So business is always good. And then when someone stops coaching with you or you know, there's you know, a slight dip, all of a sudden there's another lead that comes in and it brings it right back. So you know, there might be a little bit of this going on, but it's that flatline effect. So it's so vitally important that we understand as an entrepreneur 
that the activities that we do to market, those are activities we need to do on a regular basis, on a daily basis. I can't express that enough. I talk a lot about this in one of my videos called the top four revenue producing activities. And that's in the get lead section. And that's all the things we do to get those leads. It's so important that we understand that we keep those there on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And that keeps that engine going, that keeps the leads coming in. So we never have that dip. That dip is something that we want to avoid. That dip is somewhat of a feeling if you've ever been in a job and you, they're laying off people and, and you think you might be one of those people getting laid off and you start freaking out because you're like, what if I get laid off? What am I going to do? How am I going to earn income? That can happen like a lot as an entrepreneur. You don't want that to happen a lot as an entrepreneur. That's not a good thing to happen. That's why it's so important I talk about this creating this flat line effect by keeping those marketing activities going. There's a law of getting paid in entrepreneurship that says we get paid today for the work that we did yesterday. So if you're not getting paid today, that means yesterday you didn't do the work that was required in order for you to get paid. So let's look at this cycle that we want to avoid, that high and then that low. When we're on that low, that's a place where we're anxious and we're not getting paid. It's like we don't have much business. We don't know where our next paycheck's coming from. Let's back the time cycle up. So this is today, at the, we're low, we back up to let's say yesterday, well what were we doing? Well as I said earlier, on the top of that, what are we doing? We're taking those coaching calls, we're doing those events, and those aren't revenue producing activities because they don't generate leads. It's, we're on the phone all day with, with current clients. Yeah, if we're asking for referrals, that's different. <laughs> but the point is, is we're taking calls all day, and then what happens is, is boom, today comes, and we're not getting paid. It's because yesterday we weren't doing the marketing activities. Just another reason why it's so, so important that on a daily basis we include the revenue producing activities that get us those leads so we can continue on that cycle and not have that bottom effect, that high and those lows. We want to create that flat line effect. So if you're ready to take that leap, Always remember, selling coaching is the absolute best way for you to fast track your business from a part-time hobby to a full-time career. Now get out there, get leads, get clients, and get paid.